Welcome to Time of Restoration broadcast. We are so happy that you have tuned in and pray that something will be said to bless you, encourage your heart, lift your spirit, and increase your faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. For well, this is the day that the Lord hath made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in this day. I would like to wish every one of you that's listening happy Thanksgiving. It's another Thanksgiving the Lord has allowed us to be able to witness. And we thank God that every day is Thanksgiving with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But of course, it's been set aside, you know, for Thanksgiving, for this particular Thursday, that we come together and families come together and enjoy one another. Also, I do realize that this is a time that is hard for many people because of changes in their lives, loved ones they've lost, and sometimes they feel like life is not the same and they cannot enjoy you know, Thanksgiving because of the death of loved ones. And it, 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 it is a process. You know, you have to go through your grieving process. But I want you to know that there's life after death. There's laughter. There's joy that comes after the loss of a loved one. As much as you will miss them, there's life after death. And first of all, they are not dead. They are much alive, more alive than we are here on this planet Earth. They are more alive than we are. And we know that all of our loved ones that have gone on to glory, that we will see them again. They are in our future. So I just want to encourage uh, those that are out there that have lost loved ones and you feel hopeless. But just know that your hope is in Christ Jesus. He promised never to leave you, nor to forsake you. So we just thank God. I'm going to open up with the Psalms 9 and 2. And it is a song for the Sabbath day. But it's also a song for Thanksgiving day. And it reads in the New Living Translation, it is a good thing. To give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great thy work, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither, neither doth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My eye also shall see my desire on my enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord 
shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show the Lord, to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. So this was a prayer of thanksgiving. Uh, the commentator says, thanks should be on our lips every day. We can never say thank you enough to parents, friends, and leaders, and especially to God. When Thanksgiving becomes an integral part of your life, you will find that your attitude toward life changes. You will, become, you will become more positive, gracious, loving, and humble. Your complaints will dissolve in gratitude. Oh, <laughs> it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You know, when you, he talked about the palm trees in verses 12 through 14, and it talks about the fact that the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. And the commentator notes goes on to say that palm trees are known for their long lifespan. To flourish like palm trees means to stand tall and to live long. The palms of the region where this psalm was written are also an excellent source of food producing dates. The cedars of Lebanon grew to 120 feet in height and up to 30 feet in, cir in circumference. Thus, they were solid, strong, and immovable. The writer saw believers as upright, strong, productive, and unmoved by the winds of circumstance and aging. Those who place their faith firmly in God can have this strength and vitality. You know, I'm 86 years old. Next year, I'll be 87 if the Lord's willing. And, and so many people ask me, how do you have the strength to do all that you do? You are so busy, you know, but it's God. I'm like that palm tree. I can say I'm flourishing like that palm tree. I'm productive even in old age. The Bible says that they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. I believe today I still have souls in my lawns that yet have to be birthed through my intercession and through those that the Lord will allow me to meet. So we just thank God for Thanksgiving on this day for our family, for friends, for our loved ones even for our enemies. Because I pray for my enemies. I love my enemies. I know people that, you know, oftentimes overseer would talk about different ones that were his haters. And I know, I know my haters, you know, I know who they are, but it doesn't matter because I love them. I pray for them, you know, and we, 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 we have to love. We have to forgive. We cannot hold on to hurt and unforgiveness. We cannot make it. So we just be, we're thankful for everybody and for all. Father God, I ask for forgiveness for anything I might have said or done that would uh, hinder this prayer. I thank you for the opportunity that I have, that I can come into the most holy of holies to give you thanks. Just to say thank you for all that you have done in my life and in the lives of other people, and in the lives of my family. 
God, I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your master plan of redemption. I thank you, God, that I can, my, my lips can utter thanksgiving to you. I, 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 I can thank you with the fruit of my lips. I can say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for being so good to me. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for eternal life. Thank you for food. Thank you for clothing. Oh, God, I just give you thanks. This is Thanksgiving, a day that we are that's set aside for us to give you thanks. God, we are praying for those that are heavy in that spirit. Lord, they're grieving. They, they are depressed. They are oppressed. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. We are commanding you to get your hands off of God's people. And Lord, touch their minds, their hearts. And Lord, where there is sadness, bring joy. Lord, you said we have the keys to the kingdom. Whatsoever we bind on earth will, will be bound in heaven. And whatsoever we loose on earth will be loosed from heaven. And God, today, for those that are battling depression, as this is a certain time of year for certain people, they become depressed. They become weary. Oh, God, but God, you are the God that's the lifter up of their heads, the healer of their countenance. They don't have to be uh, 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 moved by a, 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 a time of season or a time of the year. Lord, they can walk in victory every month of the year. In the name of Jesus. God, we're lifting up those that have lost loved ones. Lord, we ask that you will comfort and be with families. We are praying, oh God, today for the peace of Jerusalem. We are praying for the war-torn areas and those that have lost loved ones. We are praying for leaders of nations, leaders of churches. We are praying for the body of Christ. Strengthen us, unite us, make us one. Lord, we are praying for victims of day and night. God, we are praying for the elderly, for caregivers, for first responders. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we are praying for those that are battling all manner of sicknesses and disease. COVID is still on the rise. Flu is on the rise. Oh, God, we are asking that you would touch and protect us in the name of Jesus. We are praying for restoration in our local assembly. We are praying for our local mayors and governors. God, we are praying, oh God, for our daycare. We are praying that our church will be a beacon, a lighthouse. We are praying for our assistant pastor, our deacon board, our ministerial staff, every well-wisher, every member of restoration. We're praying for those on our prayer list. Oh God, that you would touch, that you would deliver, that you would make whole, that you would provide. Oh God, that you will give people the, the desires of their heart in the name of Jesus, as they become your delight in the name of Jesus. God, make known your wonders everywhere. Oh God, bless the wonderful name of Jesus. Lord, we love you because you first loved us. And we honor you and we bless your name. Lord, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I pray that robbers, rapists, and murderers will be apprehended. Those that are plotting right now, we're coming against hatred and strife, terrorists, terrorism. Oh, God, we're just speaking and loosen your name. Uncover, expose the enemy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Today, because of Thanksgiving, I am going to bear away from my teaching matters of the heart. And we're going to be concentrating on scriptures that deals with Thanksgiving. That deals with Thanksgiving. Thankfulness is a characteristic that we all should have as believers. Being thankful and grateful is very important in life. 
1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, it says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Wherever you find yourself or whatever circumstance you find yourself in, the word says this is God's will concerning you. The Bible says in all things, give thanks. Not necessarily giving thanks for, but in the midst of whatever circumstance, whatever chaos, you find yourself in today, give him thanks. Give God the glory. Because this is God's will concerning you. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord for his goodness, for him dying on the cross for you, for him taking on your sin, for that great exchange. Oh, he became poor that we might become rich. Hallelujah. So it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. And we're going to give thanks in every situation and in every circumstance we find ourselves in. Psalms 103 verses 1 through 4. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crown you with love and compassion. Oh, it, it is a good thing huh, to give thanks. To give thanks to God for his benefits towards us. He, he forgives our sins. He forgives our iniquities. He heals our sicknesses and diseases. Oh, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7, from the New King James Version, it says, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, root it, and built up in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanks." Given. We should have a gratitude of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. A gratitude of thanksgiving. Isaiah chapter 12, verses 4 and 5. It says, And on that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Make them remember that his name is exalted. Praise the Lord in song. For he has done glorious things. Let this be known throughout the earth. <laughs> oh, let, let, we, need to, we need to let people know about the wondrous things God has done. Or when you sit down and you commune and you fellowship with your sisters and brothers in Christ, it is a good thing when you begin to share about the goodness of God and all the things that he has done on our behalf. Things we were believing him for, things we have been praying to him for. You know, he in his time and in his season, he is answering our prayers. And we are saying, thank you, Jesus. We are thankful. James 1.17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change 
like shifting shadows. The King James talks about the fact that G Jesus the same yesterday, you know, uh, I think it's, it says in this particular verse, there's no turning or bitterness or shadow of turning in him. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. I mean, we, we have people, we meet people that they're sometime in, they're mooded, they're up some days, they're down other days. Some days they'll talk you to, to death and other times they, they won't have nothing to say to you because they're mooded. But thank God we have a God that's, that's the same all the time. <laughs> we, we don't have to be afraid to approach him. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes um, uh, there are couples that are married and sometimes they need to talk to their spouse and sometimes they don't know how to, sometimes to approach them. And sometimes in life they've been told, you, you never know the right time to approach them. Or whenever you would approach them, they said, well, you, you always choose the wrong time to approach. But thank God we don't have to worry about that in our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. We can approach him at any time. You know, he, he sits on the throne. He sits high and he looks low. So we just thank God for the fact that we have a God that there's no verbiness or shadow of turning uh, in him. And every perfect gift that is given to man is given from God above. And that is worth and noteworthy to be thankful for a God like that. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom, that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 95, verses 1 through 5. It says, O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth, the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Hallelujah. Philippians 4, verses 4 through 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Happy Thanksgiving. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. For the Lord is good and his mercy and do it for ever. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 13. Now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious, hallelujah, 
We praise your glorious praise God. Sorry about that. We praise your glorious name. I'm going to have to look that up. First Chronicles. Let me look that up in my uh, Bible. I had it on paper. It seemed like it's when I turned my page, it just wasn't quite there. Okay, First Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 13. And it reads, Now, therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name. Hallelujah. So we just thank God today for Thanksgiving. And we are asking, oh God, that you would bless families that we even come against the spirit of arguments and things that some families tend to experience during these holidays, that peace will be at that dinner table. If you've never accepted Jesus in your heart, invite him in tonight or this morning by confessing that you are a sinner in need of a Savior. Ask Jesus to come and to live on the inside of you, to write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, and to fill you with his Spirit. To be your Lord, your master, your savior, and your friend. To the backslider, confess your sins and ask God to restore unto you the joy of his salvation. Abba Father is waiting for you. Your church family, they are waiting for you. And for those that prayed the prayer of salvation, angels right now are throwing a party in heaven. Because the scripture says that every soul that repenteth on earth, it makes heaven rejoice. The angels rejoice when you repent of your sins. So let someone know that you accepted Jesus today. If you are ashamed to own him, in this wicked and adulterous world, he will be ashamed to own you before his Father in heaven. And whatever you do, always tell someone about Jesus, because Jesus is Lord.